Okay, I will try to show you how you can solve this exercise in Excel. It will give you a little bit more knowledge how to do things in Excel. Uh, and, and I will show two different kind of solutions. First, I, I will show a solution where I use sort of the pure mathematical formulas for calculating present values. Uh, but And then I will also show how you can do it using uh, the inbuilt Excel uh, functions for present value, net present values. Okay, but I start from the beginning. Here we have the forecasted cash flows from year one to year five. So I start with entering a formula in cell D10 here where I will do, do this calculation. I take... Um, the cash flow that I have in D5 and divide that by, I have to use parentheses, uh, 1 plus uh, H7, that one, uh, and I press F4 on the keyboard, that will transform the, the reference to H7 to becoming an absolute reference, uh, which will make it easier to copy and parentheses and raise this in raised in one like that so 166,667 because I did a function a formula here where I have uh, the reference to uh, H7 is an absolute reference it's easy for me to just to copy that to the right like that. So, and then I can calculate sum all this up. Um, can I just do the auto sum here like that? 811,278,000. Okay, and now I calculate the continuing value. The continuing value is a little bit longer formula, but um, I start here with equal sign like that. And first I multiply um, the cash flow year 5 with 1 plus the assumed growth like that. And then I divide this with within parentheses required rate of return minus the growth rate, giving me the present value of this assumed growth growth forever. And that is two million two hundred and seventy five thousand. Okay, then I go here, and now I will calculate the present value of this continuing value. Uh, and the formula for that is, like, I start here, equal sign, um, this value, the continuing value, divided by, within parentheses, 1 plus the required rate of return raised, you see you use this sign to raise something, raised in 5. I can type it manually also like that. 914,271. And the firm value then is the sum of the present value of the cash flows and the present value of the continuing value. So I just used the auto sum like that. 1,725,550. Okay, I can also show you how you do this if you use the Excel functions that are available, but I see I first have to change my Excel to English Excel.
Okay, I will show you how you can use the, the functions in build formulas, financial formulas that you find in Excel to calculate the same thing. Um, I start by calculating present value of all future cash flow. So I start in cell V10, I use the financial function present value or PV is it called? that the PV function has several arguments it has a rate I use the rate there I need to do it an absolute reference of that so I add dollar signs number of periods and uh, this is uh, the number of years in the future this payment is so I use a reference to V4 um, payments I leave blank because um, Press PV function calculates the present value of a series of payments, sort of you get a number, of, a certain amount every year. In this case, we just want to know what a certain one amount is worth within, worth within a certain period. So, so I put the free cash flow in the forward value, the future value argument and type I leave blank. So then you can see that the result is a negative sign. That's a bit strange. Well, we have to go back to the function and do a small correction here and put a minus sign before the, the present value or the, the, forward, the forward value argument because the, F, the PV function assumes that there are you pay something, not that something is, that you are paid something, like in this case with a positive cash flow. Well, it's a bit strange, but this is how you solve it with the functions in Excel. And then I copy that to the right, and you see I have all the, the same the same numbers as previously. And then I can just sum these together. So this is how you can use the function for, for calculating present value. When it comes to uh, continuing value, uh, this one you have to do the same as we did last with just a standard func for like this formula, like this. It's much easier than do something else. So, okay, that's that and then I calculate the, the present value of of the continuing value and now I can use the present value function again I use the rate 20% number of periods that's 5 I type that in manually the payments blank uh, uh, future value I do a reference to the continuing value like that and I have a minus sign in front of it, like that. Okay, 940,000. And now I can sum these two together, and I can do it like that also. That one plus this one. So I hope this helped you a little bit more to understand how you do evaluation and especially how you work with um, uh, the present value and net present value calculations in a valuation. Good luck.